the 007 film License to Kill came out in 1989. This follows 007's License to Kill being revoked, and he goes on this adventure that he feels obligated to go on to stop this drug dealer after he kills some, a group of uh, uh, some people that he deeply cares about, whether they're friends, friends of friends, etc., etc. He, he just has to go after them. Because there's this drug dealer, right? I mean, he's no Walter White, but don't get me wrong, he is a pretty good villain. And um, he gets arrested, but then he escapes in a fairly funny sequence that is like, it's so over the top. Like, there's a lot of sequences that, like, I feel like if they were made now with the current effects we have, this would be, this would go off completely different. But since it was made in the time period it was, with the bond it was made with, and um, with the effects that they had at the time, I think it adds a level of comedy that just wouldn't be there if they made it with the modern effects we had now. And I think that's an interesting contrast with most of the Bond films, that if they were made, some of the older ones, like, were made with the CGI and stuff like that that we have now, the some sequences would come off completely differently, and com some things would be completely changed. I think that's a little bit interesting. And obviously the Pierce Brosnan Bonds are a little bit, um, goofier, while also transitioning into a more modern Bond that we saw in the 80s and 90s uh, Bond films. And, um, yeah. So, of course, his license to kill is revoked, and now he has to go um, rogue on this mission to stop this drug dealer, and yeah. And something else about this villain is, I feel like this is the villain where um, he is... Like, the most interesting Bond villain we've gotten up to this point. My most favorite Bond... Probably one of my top three most favorite Bond villains of all time, to be completely honest. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, he gets his license to kill to revoke. There's He goes on this adventure. We get to see Q back. Even though he's, Bond is still going rogue, Q goes out and helps. Because they still support Bond. It's just he's not associated with the organization anymore, but he's still going out to complete his mission that he sat, sought out to complete in the first place. And he does so, he wins, the villain gets caught on fire, and that's something we'll talk about later. But yeah, that's basically License to Kill. And now we're going to talk about the good, the okay, and the bad, etc., etc., because this is a fun movie to talk about. But also there is many things I would like to go more in-depth on, and that's something we'll do today. So go, starting off with the good... The ending sequence is just amazing. So he, they escape this facility where they're hoping to make these drugs. And there's two oil tankers, pretty much. And there's one little jeep that um, the main villain is on. So then James Bond goes after them on a golf cart. And he goes from a golf cart to each vehicle. And it's like, it's, it's like musical chairs. Because the villain and James Bond keep on just constantly moving vehicles. He, like, at the one point, um, Bond does this clever stunt where he makes the two oil tankers explode at the same time and making them knock into each other. And, um, the Jeep crashes and they have to get on the oil tanker. And they're constantly switching vehicles. And it's this suspenseful and exciting, constantly moving, high-energy chase, which is just freaking awesome. And then, uh, and then they all crash. And then the main villain just has this huge... Um, like, machete-type weapon, and, um, he's trying to attack Bond, but then James Bond uses the oil from the tanker and lights the main villain on fire, which is just awesome because he has done some very vile things in this movie, so he 100% deserves it, <laughs> which is just satisfying to watch him just catch on fire, and, like, there's this all, there's this, again, I talked about earlier how I feel like if, um, these Bond films were made today with the new CGI we had, they would come off complete. the sequences come off completely differently. A really good example of this is, um, when this guy, to, to be, for being punished for not capturing Bond and stuff, he's thrown into the submarine, and then they turn the pressure all the way up, and then the main villain uses this huge axe, lunges it into the submarine, and makes it implode, and then this, the, this guy's head just warps over and just explodes, it just turns into rubber, and then it blows up. And that's also something I appreciate about the Pierce Brosnan Bonds, is that they have a lot of really cool effects in these movies. And that's, it's just awesome. And of course, the Bond villain, the set design, all that good stuff. Um, the Bond girl is phenomenal, like usual. And now we're going to move on to the okay. And now this is going to be a little bit of a controversial take, but 
Pierce Brosnan really is not my most favorite Bond by any standard. I do not. I mean, it's nothing about it's nothing about the actor. It, it's it's just the performance it gives off. Is it my type of Bond? Because this Bond is very different from any other type. This is extremely different from Sean Connery's Bond, from, and um, even Daniel Craig's. And his Bond is different. It's not my type of Bond because um, my most favorite type, my most favorite Bond is Sean Connery's. And so you get, get the perspective that these are a very different type of Bond. So Pierce Brosnan does not really work for me in these movies. Not that it's even a bad performance. It just, it doesn't work for the type of Bond I like seeing in this, in these movies. And um, yeah, it's a good concept and everything. But is it executed well? Um, uh, in, just like, in retrospect, not really. I mean, I think they could have done a lot better with it. But I do think for what they did, it works fine. I mean, it's, it's okay. And, um, yeah, if you guys, so out of 100, I'm probably gonna end up just giving this video, this, uh, movie a, um, uh, probably like a 50, 56. This is gonna get 56 out of 100. If you guys like this video or any of my other content, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.